I'm pretty sure that most Blender users are not the biggest fans of the process of using Blender simulation tools for making cloth and rigid body physics, simply because the workflow of doing such a task, especially using Blender's native tools, is really painful and sometimes time consuming, requiring you to navigate through different panels, adjusting multiple settings, in hope to get the decent results that you like, which is probably not very user friendly. And that brings us to the point of today's video, because I'll be showing you guys a Blender add-on that is all about making such tedious repetitive tasks less tedious and much more fun to work with, with the add-on called Quick Physics, which was specifically designed to make the process of making various types of physics simulations a lot easier because honestly, they don't have to be that complex. And it does it by bringing all the settings you're going to need in a simple compact user interface. To start using the add-on is really simple. Just select a face, then you can use one of the two remeshing tools available. The Dice Remesher, which works for almost all scenarios, giving you settings for remeshing scale and precision. Or you can choose to opt for the subsurface method, which only works for quad faces, so keep that in mind. And before committing to your remeshing settings, you might want to check, use individual face, and create separate objects if you want to create multiple panels for different selected faces, which is a very handy setting to have access to. After that, just hit the simulate panel button and you can watch as panels are being simulated in real time. You also notice that a small pop-up window will appear in the bottom left corner, giving you a couple of controls for adjusting pressure as well as shrink, which can be used to expand the effect when using a negative value. Now enough with panels, and let's move on to a more practical example when using cloth simulation. And it is as simple as dropping your piece of fabric onto your models. I find this feature especially useful because of handy and easy it is to set it up. All you have to do is select your cloth object, press on simulate, then select the preset and subdivision level that you want to go with, and you are all set. You will notice that you don't have to set up any collision objects. And this is because Quick Physics takes care of that for you by adding a collision modifier to all the necessary objects in your scene. And don't worry, you can still change the settings of your simulation by going to the cloth panel, where you will find settings like quality, time scale, friction, and collision margin. Another important feature that I need to tell you about is the rigid body simulation, which is made equally straightforward with Quick Physics. It simply works by scaling the objects that you want to simulate, also setting the mass and the friction parameters and proceed forward. Just like that, you have successfully and easily added rigid body simulations to your scene. And just like with the cloth feature, Quick Physics automatically detects and adds collisions to your objects within your scene, so that you won't have to do that manually, especially considering that it is a very repetitive work. Last but not least, let's not forget about the curve simulation feature, which works extremely well if you are creating stuff like cables, wires, or other dynamic effects. To set it up is really easy. All you have to do is to set your curve however you like and just hit the simulate curve button. And by doing so, you will get a couple of instructions assigned to different shortcuts so that you can change the simulation settings of your simulations in real time. For example, you can use this shortcut to add your collision distance or D to increase stretchiness. And keep in mind that by holding Alt and using those shortcuts, you will be able to decrease the values. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching again. And I will see you in the next one.